Two years ago, I built my first vertical takeoff plane. It was a fully functional tilt rotor that could transition from a hover to forward flight and back again. There were a few issues with the plane. It required two servos on each wingtip to operate the tilt and also the stability in a hover. It also didn't have a traditional airfoil, so in forward flight, it kind of flew like a brick. So a year later, I built a version two. The version two was a lot lighter and only required one servo per wingtip. So to keep its mechanical stability in a hover, I had to add some dihedral to increase the distance from the motor pivot to the center of mass. The version two also had an actual aerofoil, so in forward flight, it flew great. So if the version two flew so great, why build a version three? I now know I can build a plane that can hover, transition to forward flight and transition back again. So this version three plane is gonna be something completely different. I will be designing it solely to push the envelope of a vertical takeoff plane. So what I mean by this is I want it to be a fully 3D capable plane that uses the motors on the wingtips for some crazy thrust vectoring and just see what kind of tricks I can pull off with it. Oh, and it also has to hover. So to make the plane more aerobatic, I need to change a few things. First thing, I need to reduce the dihedral. However, this means that the motor pivot will be closer to the center of mass, therefore reducing the mechanical stability in a hover. I've got two ideas that I think will counteract this problem. First, I'll be running much quicker servos for the tilt mechanism. The only issue with this is that quicker servo normally means less torque. So I'll be sharing an idea of how I'm gonna fix this in the next video. The second thing I'll be implementing to increase the pitch stability in a hover is a fully moving elevator. This will not only help with the pitch stability in a hover if there's a slight headwind, but it'll also make the plane more aerobatic. So I hope you like this quick intro video. I'll give you a quick hint of what's to come in the next video. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this series. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Thanks. Bye.